Hi, my name is Josh, and today I'm reviewing the Sennheiser HD800 headphones. These headphones are Sennheiser's top of the line, um, high definition headphones. Um, I haven't had them too long, I've had them for about three weeks now, and uh, they are a phenomenal set of headphones, and I wanted to, to tell you a little bit about them and uh, kind of give you a little bit of a review on them. Um, I am uh, not an audiophile, I love music. Um, I love audio. I don't really know a lot about it. So um, so my viewpoint is from sort of a, a person that just likes nice things. I like, um, I, I can recognize when something sounds good, when it looks good, when it feels good. And uh, so from that point of view, this is sort of my take on these um, headphones. Now, for the most part, I think that you really just need to listen to them to yourself to really, un you know, decide whether or not you love them or not. Um, audio is so subjective. Um, for me, you know, I, I had, prior to these, I had the um, Sennheiser HD 650s, and uh, I thought that those were stunning headphones. And I read that if people, if you liked that, um, you know, and you really wanted to pay a lot more and get something that was just even better, um, it would be these. So um, these are the HD 800s. They are a fairly large headphone. You can see it takes up a big chunk of my my side of my head. Um, they are made out of aluminum. The build quality is excellent. You've got um, sort of aluminum all around here. You've got an open driver. Uh, you have a very, very soft felt pad. Um, the same padding uh, on the bottom of the headband. Um, and if you take a look really closely, you can see that they, they even uh, sort of serial number on these things. This is 17,391. Um, the thing I love about these headphones is first the comfort. I mean, they are super comfortable. I could wear these all day long. Um, they just feel feel great on my face. Um, the padding is soft, so it, 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 you know, just really comfortable against my skin. Uh, the headphone is open and it covers my ear. It doesn't rest on it. So I find that my ears, you know, they don't get sweaty, they don't get hot, and the, the open design of the headphone sort of allows more airflow. Um, uh, whether this is negative or positive, another sort of aspect of these headphones is the fact that they are open. So you can hear sort of this, the, sur the surrounding environment. Um, somebody talking to me, you know, standing near me, uh, doesn't sound like a muffled voice, like a fully closed headphone design. Um, it sounds like, uh, you know, I can hear them. Um, so if I'm in a subway or in a noisy place, these headphones aren't so great. Um, I would not recommend them on an airplane. Um, in addition to being able to hear things around you, people around you can hear the music sort of coming out of them. So, um, you know, definitely not for, for sort of out and about, more for a cl closed, uh, quiet um, space to listen to them. The headphone that I'm wearing now has a custom cable on it. These, uh, um, another feature that I really dig about these headphones is the fact that the cable is just so easy to take off um, and put back on. So, you know, you can just pop them off and swap them out with a different cable. Now, I love accessories. I'm a sucker for accessories. I just love them. Um, anything where I can just sort of make it my own, I, I dig it. And uh, in this case, I, I purchased these copper uh, custom HD800 um, cables. I got them from ALO Audio, which is where I've been buying a lot of my um, audio equipment lately. Um, I got it because I wanted a shorter cable, because I, I typically listen to these headphones um, with either an iPod, an iPad, iPhone, or with uh, a notebook. And I want them nearby, you know, I, I'm not gonna walk away from it, you know, it's in, in my pocket, it, it doesn't need like a six foot cable, so it's a shorter cable. It also has a one eighth inch, three and a half millimeter jack on the end, which um, plugs into the devices that I use. The cable that actually comes with the HD800 is a great cable. Um, it's a little bit longer, it's got this really great sheath on it that sort of protects it. Um, also, doesn't get really tangled, you know. Some ca headphone cables with the rubbery on it, it kind of gets tangled and it's hard to like undo. This one is just sort of less, it's, it's more resistant to getting tangled. And as you get to the top of the headphone here, it splits into these uh, two sort of little rubbery connectors. Um, the other side of the headphone cable has a quarter inch plug on it, which is great if you're plugging it into like a home stereo or something, but that's not what I use it for. So you can get an adapter um, like this one that will turn it into a 1 8 inch or other type of connector. Um, I would recommend it. 
sound quality uh, with just the difference in the cables. Um, I mean, some people say that you can really notice a difference. Uh, I really like the stock cable. I think the stock cable sounds great. I don't think you really need um, to upgrade the cable. I did upgrade the cable, but I did it because I wanted um, a shorter cable and I wanted a, the right connector on it, and I didn't want to lug around, you know, um, extra stuff. So, with regard to how the headphones sound, first I gotta say, Sennheiser clearly on the side of the headphones indicates that um, this driver needs 300 ohms, which I'm assuming is a lot of power. And uh, when you just plug these headphones into a device that doesn't have a, a strong amp in it, it doesn't sound loud. Like they, you really need a lot of amplifier behind it to drive them. Um, I've got a uh, Anaconda, it's an iBasso, Anaconda um, D12 amp. Now this one is great for driving my you know, in-ear monitors, but for driving a headphone like this, I mean, I pretty much have to gun the volume almost to the top to get it to really scream. So, um, you know, I would recommend if you are gonna buy these headphones that you get a, a serious amp. The one that I've been using that I love with it is the um, ALO Audio, the MK3B. Um, and uh, this amp is just gets really <laughs> loud. Um, I can turn it, I'm probably at 50% volume when, when I can't really go any louder. I mean, it's just, it's just strong. And I highly recommend that for these. I have plugged these, I have a MacBook Pro Retina and I've plugged these headphones directly into that notebook and, and it's okay. I mean, if, if, if you are in a quiet environment, it's passable. But when you really wanna get the detail, you know, you want the music to just kinda surround you and feel the, the sort of power of it, strong uh, bass, strong treble, strong, um, just all the audio just to kind of punch, uh, you really do need an amp. Um, I haven't tried the headphones with, an, with a balance cable, so I can't tell you what that sounds like. Um, I've never actually heard balanced um, audio before uh, with a headphone, but I can tell you that um, audio-wise, these things sound great. I mean, uh, compared to the HD650, um, it's like some kinds of audio, I really just feel like I'm getting closer to sort of the, the standing in the studio. Um, it feels like it's a bigger studio. Um, I hear people talking about what a sound stage, um, you know, what, what is the sound stage like with the particular headphones. With these, it just feels like I'm in a large studio, um, great acoustics. The music, I can hear detail that just, I mean, it just, it's like, wow, that was there? I didn't even know that that detail was in that, in that music, you know, it's just, it's like, it's like my whole music collection has just become brand new again. Um, now, I'm listening to what I think is really high, co you know, high in quality encoded uh, audio. There are lossless files, the original sources were 24-bit um, audio. Um, I've got a uh, um, Cypher Labs solo which I've connected to my iPod and I'm able to, to drive some pretty strong, pretty great solid source material into these headphones. And uh, they just, they're just great. I really love them. I recommend that you, uh, you definitely give them a listen if you can, try to go to an audio meet or something and, or go to you know, a place that has a demo of these and try them out. Um, they are without a doubt my favorite pair of headphones. Um, I can't see going out and buying um, another pair after these. But I have a, a sort of a slight addiction to accessories and to headphones, so I probably will be buying <laughs> other headphones. Um, I haven't tried top-of-the-line headphones in other brands. Um, I haven't tried the Grados or uh, you know, some of the other um, high-end manufacturers, but I can say that, uh, that I'm pretty happy with these. I mean, these are just pretty spectacular. Now, the price tag is just gonna knock you down. It's $1,499 for a pair of these. Now, I've seen these on eBay, but even on eBay, a slightly used pair is still going for up uh, over a thousand dollars. They're just, you know, people just love them. They buy them and they love them. And, and I'm part of that group. I love them. So this was my review of the uh, Sennheiser HD 800 headphones. Um, the cables were from uh, ALO Audio. The cables were, I believe they were $399. I'm totally getting ripped off of these cables. But uh, the cable is awesome. I mean, it looks great. It's got the right connector on it. The length is right. And to be honest, if you're spending $1,500 on a pair of headphones, which is ridiculous to begin with, then you might as well get the exact right cable that you want for it. Um, the amp, remember that you are gonna need a strong amplifier with these. 
So um, make sure that when you buy them that you've picked out something that can really drive them. Um, and that was my review of the Sennheiser HD 800.